Hello and uh, welcome to the Physics Video Podcast. In this video podcast I'm going to be looking at pair production and the opposite process, annihilation. You need to be familiar with the idea of matter, in which case here we have an electron, that's a real world matter particle, and its antimatter equivalent, the positron. And you should know that when these meet, they will annihilate and all their mass will be turned into energy. What I'm going to show you now is how to calculate how much energy will be released during this process. You need the data sheet for this. The data sheet carries a lot of essential information that you're going to need in the exam and you need to know your way around that already. It says on the data sheet that the rest mass energy of an electron is 0.510999 mega electron volts. So that's the rest mass energy of that particle and because antimatter particles have exactly the same rest mass it's also the rest mass energy of that particle. So when these two particles annihilate each other the amount of energy released will be double that which I've already calculated is 1.21998 mega electron volts. Just pause for a moment and look at the units. Remember that mega means 10 to the 6 or million and electron volts are the equivalent to the energy given to an electron when it accelerates through 1 volt. If we wanted to convert this to joules we have a much smaller amount of energy and we just multiply by the charge on an electron. The other process, which is the opposite, which is, um, if you like, a symmetrical pair, is pair production. We can imagine a photon coming along, or a particle, with a great deal of energy, and that can spontaneously split to form a particle and its antiparticle pair. This time I'm going to think of a muon and its antiparticle equivalent the antimuon. How much energy do we need for that process? We go back to the data sheet and we look up and we see that the energy of a muon, the rest of the energy of a muon is 105.659 mega electron volts. So to produce the pair, the two particles together, we need twice that much energy. We need 211.318 mega electron volts. That's the minimum energy required. Now if this photon had more energy than that, say the photon had an energy of 300 mega electron volts, the pair would still be produced and the excess energy would be in the kinetic energy of the pair that are made, the muon and the antimuon. Thank you very much. Hope you hope we found that useful.